Okay, we're going to be solving logarithmic and exponential equations. One of the biggest hints I can give you is if it starts as a log, you're going to turn it into an exponent. If it starts as an exponent, you're going to turn it into a log. There are a few exceptions to that, but for now, let's stick with that idea. Okay, one of the first things we notice about this problem, this goes back to simplifying logarithms. We have a coefficient. We have a couple options here. We could divide by 2, which works great here and here, but it's going to turn this understood 1 into a 1 half, and it's going to slightly complicate our life. Let's not go there. Instead, we're going to take this 2, and we're going to move it up, and it's going to become an exponent. And when it becomes an exponent, the problem begins to look like this. So we now have log of x squared minus log of 4 equals 2. Okay. Knowing that, we need to simplify this a little further. Because we're subtracting logs, we can really treat it as division. So we're going to make one logarithm out of this and do x squared divided by 4. x squared over 4. Notice it turns it into one log. It's equal to 2. Okay. There is an understood 10. I hope you just said 10 in your head. There's an understood 10 right there. And we will put 10 to the second equals all that right there. Makes a little hard. 10 to the second equals x squared over 4. And we're going to solve that. And we know how to solve that, but let's keep going. 10 to the second is 100. x squared over 4. We're going to multiply by 4. That gives us 400. And then we'll take the square root. Now, someone back in the day told you when you square root, you do plus and minus. I agree. However, if we did negative 20 as well, it would not work. We cannot take the log of a negative number. So normally, don't write this, normally you would put that. That won't work in this case. Only the positive is going to work. So that's the answer to the first one. Again, notice, if we start with a log, we end up working it out as an exponent. Let's do the next one. e to the 1 minus x equals 3. And this starts as an exponent, so we're going to have to turn it into a log. So let's start by rewriting this. And because it's an e, this is not a variable, this is a number. Euler's constant. This is going to be a natural log. There's an understood e down here, and there's a 3. And that is equal to 1 minus x. At this point, we need our calculator to find out what the natural log of 3 is. We'll simply type it in. Round that off. It's going to end up being 1.10. Make that 1.1, and that's equal to 1 minus x. We'll continue to solve. Subtract 1 from each side. 0.1 equals negative x. If you don't know what just happened, we just simply subtracted one here and subtracted one here, and those cancel. That's what happened. And now we're going to divide by negative 1. So x is going to equal negative 0.1. And that is our final answer for that one. For the next problem, we're going to have to start by dividing by 5. So when you look at the next problem, You see that 5 times 3 to the x equals 90. That's equal to 90. Okay, common mistake. Don't multiply those. Do not multiply those together. Because of the order of operations, you have to do exponents first. So we can't multiply these yet. First, we'll divide. So divide by 5. 3 to the x equals 90 over 5, that is 18. The answer is not 6, okay? This is exponential. Because it is exponential, there's a variable in the exponent, we are going to write it as a logarithm. Log base 3 of 18 is equal to x. And we'll find out what that is in the calculator. If it helps to know what order these go in, we can draw the little heart thing again. That, that, that. And the order that you pointed to them is the order they're going to appear here. 3, 18, x. 3, 18, x. Okay. 
Here's what we'll type in the calculator. We're going to type log of 18. Parentheses automatically pop up. Divided by log of 3. And when we type that in the calculator, that's going to give us the answer. And then we'll round to two decimal places because that's just the neat thing to do. Two point six three. There we go.